Well, the new institute's title is the Institute of Global Health Innovation, very much reflecting the strengths of Imperial College, which is innovation and innovative solutions to some challenges which are facing most healthcare systems globally, whether you are in, in the developed world or the developing world. And what's unique about Imperial is it does have some of the best brains when it comes to technology, when it comes to science, when it comes to medicine. And the question is, how do we exploit that to have an impact on a global basis? So the whole remit of the Institute is really to come up with these uh, uh, sets of policies reflecting the technological innovations and the uh, uh, policy innovations and the sort of the medical breakthroughs uh, uh, on, a, on, a, on a global platform. Many colleagues in Imperial will say, certainly the academic community will say, you can come up with the major breakthroughs, the major discoveries, the major trials, but that tends to stop and I think how do you really move that and translate that into impact and the only way you can do that is through policy and and I've had an interest in policy for four or five years uh, and I had a great privilege of serving uh, in government and uh, and understand what the challenges are facing us in, in, in health uh, and in health care. Let's not forget uh, the demands are very different. Uh, uh, any healthcare system now has been challenged with Take, for example, the aging population, and we've seen the impact of technology. It has extended our lives significantly. Uh, but the question we need to ourselves is, although we've added years to our lives, have we actually added life to these years? Uh, uh, on the other hand, you could look at some of the lifestyle diseases. If you look at the developed world, some of the big challenges, again, because of technological innovation and the the supply of food, obesity has become a major challenge where on the, develop, the, the developing world you still have challenges when it comes to malnutrition uh, and uh, chronic long-term conditions is another good example, non-communicable diseases. Uh, we may think that's an issue in the Western world but it's not actually. A lot of the developing worlds actually are challenged now with non-communicable diseases such as diabetes uh, being a very good example. Uh, of that. So these are very, very different sets of challenges. Uh, I think the solutions are there uh, and, and the question is how do you translate these solutions into policies with tremendous impact? And the Institute of Global Health Innovation will provide us, those working within Imperial, but also the partner organizations, with that platform to make that change happen and to have that impact globally. I think within Imperial, the Institute of Global Health Innovation is that broad church representing all faculties and academics who have an interest in health. So it's not in any way uh, exclusive, it's an inclusive institute that brings in the Faculty of Medicine, the Faculty of Engineering and the, and the Business School and also the Faculty of Life Sciences. And that's what's very different and unique here and its ownership has to be those four different faculties. Uh, and and through that collaboration, uh, we are creating a number of different centres. Initially, we're starting on with a number of centres that might have a, uh, which Peter did start originally, like a centre with an interest in infectious disease or non-communicable disease, a centre with an interest in health policy or health systems, and potentially also another centre in technology. Uh, and you can see by even those three centres, all faculties do have a stake in them uh, because it's that multidisciplinary, interdisciplinary working through which we're going to find some of these high impact solutions uh, that are sustainable in the long term. One good example I always say, you know, technology is the means to the end. It's not the end. We need the right business models around a technology to make it sustainable in a healthcare system that could be in Africa or a healthcare system that could be in, uh, in Scotland.